Hello guys, it's Goldie X here and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction, the Ratchet and Clank's debut on the PlayStation 3. In North America it's called Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction and not Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. As I live in the UK it's just called Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I don't know why in the UK we didn't get Ratchet and Clank Future, I don't know. I mean, in the UK it's just called Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. This was the first game in the Ratchet and Clank Future series. Out of the Future Trilogy you had Ratchet and Clank Tools Destruction, Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty and Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time. I've been wanting to play these games for a while on the channel now as I've played many other Ratchet and Clank games in the series. I've been wanting to get into these games for a while now and play them on the channel for you guys. But yeah, I think it's about time I finally did dive into these games. It's been over a year since I last played a Ratchet and Clank game on the channel. So I thought now would be a brilliant time to dive into the Ratchet and Clank Future series. Beginning with Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I really do like this game, which I really remember really enjoying this game back in the day and having lots of fun with it. It's been a little while since I last played this. I can't remember who the name of the main bad guy was in this game. It's been a while since I last played this game, so... Let's dive into Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I remember really enjoying this game when I played it back in the day. Okay, let's dive into a new game. Let's begin Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. Check. Horizontal stabilizers. Check. Ion thrusters. Looks like we got a tailwind. If we time it right, we can ride the slipstream of the grav train past the sea grid traffic. Ahem. Launch the mag grappler onto that pedway overpass and slingshot right up to... Ratchet. The thrusters are fine, Clank. See? Don't worry. It's probably just a fused ion duct. Incoming message from Captain Quark. Ratchet? Clank, I've uh, got a bit of a situation here at the Planetary Defense Center. Nothing I can't handle, mind you. Just a few thousand heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe. <laughs> I, I knew I had something to hide. Hmm. Heavily armed robotic commandos? When aren't they heavily armed? Are you sure this is functioning properly? You worry too much. Planetary Defense Center, here we And once again, Captain Quark is under attack. If you're looking to Shut up, bitch! Yeah, go away, Gatron. I know how to use Gatron. I've used it many times before. Okay, before we go any further, though, I want to quickly enable the subtitles. Apologies, I didn't have subtitles on in that cutscene. Okay, there we go. Double check it's on. Yep, yeah, nice. Okay, there we go. Subtitles are finally on. Sorry they weren't on at the start of the game. Okay. And not, it's not just Captain Quark that's under attack as well. We've now also got Metropolis under attack as well. Who would attack a beautiful sea like this? Ratchet & Clank Future Games, in my opinion, are very fun Ratchet & Clank games. They're not my favourite Ratchet & Clank games, in my opinion. I just prefer the PS2 Ratchet & Clank games. I just have so much more nostalgia over the PS2 Ratchet & Clank games. But when I play Ratchet & Clank Tools of Destruction for the first time, yeah, I was having some fun with it. I thought it was a really fun game in its own right. What's interesting about this as well was that Insomniac Games weren't just ra working on the Ratchet and Clank games during that time as well. They also worked on another franchise called the Resistance series as well. Which in my opinion is probably a very underrated franchise in my opinion, the Resistance series. Resistance 1, Fall of Man, Resistance 2 and Resistance 3. Insomniac Games during the PS3 era were working on two different game franchises. Unlike Naughty Dog who were just working on the Uncharted series. It's a bit of a shame during the PS3 era we never got a new Jack and Daxter game, right? Bit of a shame, wasn't it? But you know, much as I love the Uncharted games, we should have really got a new Jack and Daxter game during that time, but oh well. It's in the past now, I'm not going to complain. But it's cool that Insomniac Games were working on new Ratchet and Clank games as well as working on a new game franchise called Resistance. Resistance 3 is my favourite, by the way. I love Resistance 3, it's such a fun game. The Resistance games were very underrated in my opinion. 
I don't think they quite got the recognition they deserve, especially considering they were developed from Insomniac games. Okay, I should get some nanotech. I think I'm good for nanotech. Yeah, I am. I thought I lost some nanotech back there. Oh, well. Okay, let's go and make our way to Captain Quark. That's if he's even in Metropolis, but I guess we'll find out. Captain Quark, man, you really need to learn how to defend yourself. He's meant to be a superhero, for Christ's sake. He's not meant to be scared of little enemies like this. That's if, that's if... Well, we don't know what exactly he's under attack by, but I guess we're going to find out. If it's just little enemies like this, he needs to really man up and learn how to be a real superhero. We saw him in previous Ratchet and Clank games, he's not really a superhero, he's just a phony. We shall know that by now. Uh, Metropolis can't really get a break, can it? Metropolis is always under attack by something. It's just a shame it is such a beautiful world. Also, I'd rather live on a planet that's full of beaches and ladies, but you know. It's a cool planet though. I do love the futuristic urban look of this. Especially when I do love tall buildings and love climbing, so yeah. Yeah, this is a cool city. This is a beautiful looking city. Imagine doing parkour over the sea. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, yep, that building's gonna collapse. Yeah, this was actually a really impressive segment from when I first played it. Watching that building come down, I was like, whoa, bro. Yeah, I was expecting that building to collapse when Ratchet was riding along this rail, but yeah, kind of impressed me more than anything. Watching a building collapse in front of my own eyes in a video game like that. Watching a very tall building just disintegrate from a few explosions in seconds. Is this the only weapon I've got? Yeah, I've got the fusion grenade as well. I'll start using this a bit as well, get this upgraded a little bit. How much does this weapon do? This weapon's about half our grade. I think I'll be best get this upgraded a little bit. Oh, get out of here. This guy's sneaking up behind me. Right, let's get a fusion grenade. Let's, up let's upgrade this baby a little bit. I don't know whether to disable tutorials and that, but I don't know. There may be some tutorials I might need a bit of reminding on as we play through the game, so I might just keep them on anyway, just in case. You never know, it may come in handy. Well, obviously, I know how to use like the Gadgetron, that kind of thing, but there may be some tutorials a bit later on I might need a bit of reminding on, so I think I'd best keep them on. Gee, whoa, that thing was huge. Good job again away from that. I really do love Metropolis though, it's such a beautiful city. Imagine like an open world Ratchet and Clank game where Metropolis was the only planet explored, where you can explore nearly the whole of Metropolis. Just imagine if there was a Ratchet and Clank game like that. I mean that would be a cool Ratchet and Clank game to be fair, I think some people would be a bit disappointed if a game like that did come out, especially if Metropolis was the only planet explorable. I mean Ratchet and Clank is known for how many planets for exploring loads of different planets now, but just imagine an open world Ratchet and Clank game we could just explore the whole metropolis and we've got another building collapsing right in front of us. Who would wreck such a beautiful city? This is going to collapse, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm getting out of it quick. I know. So I might get a grenade out. Get these things out of my way before things go from bad to worse, before I do end up falling to my death. I mean, loads of bolts for killing these guys, though. Eventually, I'll be able to buy some more weapons. I don't think I'll be able to get the Rhino during this Let's Play, but who knows? Not likely. I don't think in any other Ratchet and Clank Let's Plays I've managed to get the Rhino. I don't think you can get the Rhino until, like, a new game plus or when you play on, um... Challenge Point. I don't think you can get the Rhino until then, but... Yeah. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Again, it's been a, it has been a while since I last played Ratchet and Clank Tours Destruction. Yeah. It's been a little while. Maybe you can unlock the Rhino near the end of the game. I don't know. I can't see it being likely though, because I think you have to be playing on change mode in order to unlock the Rhino itself. Easy, the most overpowered weapon. Probably the best weapon in the Ratchet and Clank games. It's very iconic because it's such an overpowered weapon. I brought it in Ratchet and Clank 3 and I upgraded it fully and it was just a powerhouse of a weapon. 
and this building. Yep, this one's going to collapse as well. Jeez. Who would destroy such a beautiful city like this? I just hope Captain Quark's on this planet somewhere. Something tells me he's not on this planet, but I guess we're going to find out. If not, he's going to be waiting a while till we rescue him. Oh, got to be on this one. Almost fell to my death then. One thing I do remember though, Dr. Nefarious unfortunately is not the main antagonist in this game. There was a new different antagonist in Somniac introduced, into this, introduced in the Ratchet Clank series for this game. I can't remember his name actually, he wasn't a bad villain from what I remember correctly, but he was not as memorable as Dr. Nefarious, I remember that much. He wasn't a terrible winner, but yeah, I think it does feel a bit weird me saying that, especially because I don't actually remember the guy's name. I think he was he was like an emperor kind of enemy. Had like a king king something, I think his name might have been. I don't know, I can't remember. It's been such a while. It's been a while since I last played this. But I remember though, I didn't hate the main bad guy for this game, but compared to Dr. Nefarious though, he just wasn't as great in my opinion. This is a really weird camera angle, playing a Ratchet Clank game, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not used to playing Ratchet and Clank like this. I'll get some nanotech, or oh, I don't even need it. It's good. Well, I best just get out of here quick. I think I might just leave these enemies. I don't know where to leave these enemies or not. I don't know. Well, there we go. V2. Got my pistol upgraded. Very nice. It's nice to upgrade your weapon and get some... I think... This was actually... Come to think of it, this was actually the first Ratchet & Clank game that introduced um, Raritanium. What you can use to upgrade your weapons, upgrade like the damage and the weapon, the ammo count and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Quite a nice mechanic they introduced into the game. I've got to tilt the controller. Oh, I hate things like this. Tilt the controller to steer through traffic. I didn't like this on the PS3, to be honest, when you had to tilt the controller. It's like with Uncharted Drake's Fortune when you had to walk along the um, those like along those branches and wooden planks and that you had you would have to tilt the controller to keep it balanced. And honestly, in the PS4 remaster, I'm happy they scrapped that. Looks pretty quiet. Where's Quark? I think Captain Quark's home on Metropolis today. I think he's going to be he's on a different planet. Just got, oh, ow, I went right into that. I just want to be very careful when to... Okay, those enemies are gone. They hit me twice and they didn't kill me. I'm not going to complain, I'm just going to force guys. That won't be the last we see of them. Go there back again. Got to avoid these trains now as well. Ah, great. I'm going to head on here. Well, wherever Captain Quark is, we'll find him eventually. He should be able to defend himself against enemies like this, so I don't see why he needs our help that badly, but... But if he's in trouble, we're going to have to help him eventually. Oops. Okay, I was not expecting that, and I wasn't expecting that either. Okay, this is getting close. I need to be very careful. Why are they attacking me all the time? What have I done to these guys?
past the lumbax in the universe. <laughs> Truly a pathetic specimen of the race, I'm afraid. So weak. And you are? Emperor Percival Tachyon, crown prince of the Kragmites, conqueror of space and time, and, pending the obliteration of a few insubordinate species, ruler of the universe. Your name's Percival? <laughs> Emperor! See the crown? See the scepter? The giant walking throne? A legion of royal robotic commandos? Emperor! Not that a treacherous furball like you could... What's this? <laughs> such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got posomorphic plaster cannons in each fingertip. My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you! Surrender your death bot. And simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go! <laughs> Autopilot engaged. Whoa! Hang on, Clank! Hyperspace boosters online. Engage in cryosleep. Cryosleep? I don't know. There's no way I'm gonna... It is fortunate cryosleep does not work on robots. <laughs> There for a minute. I am fine. Where are we? Beats me. Ship must have run out of fuel while on autopilot. Well, come on, we need to find another ship and get back to Kerwan. Yes, we need to get to back to Metropolis soon. So we're we stuck on this mysterious planet. Can I find the name of it? Planet Cobalia. So back there we met Emperor Percival. Oh, I forgot his name already. Anyway, that's the Emperor, the main bad guy of the game. We just met the Emperor. Yeah, I don't know why he wants to attack Metropolis so badly or what he wants of us, but I guess we're going to find out. So I think I'll save this planet off for the next episode because, yeah, this looks like a very interesting world, doesn't it? I think I'll save this off for the next episode. Okay guys, I'm going to end this episode here, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe, and keep up to date with the Ratchet and Clank Tools Destruction episodes uploaded to my channel. And next episode, we'll explore this jungle, gruesome looking planet. I want to go back to Metropolis, why do those guys have to attack our beautiful city? I'll see you all in the next episode, thank you so much for watching, this is Goldiex, and I'm out.